Hi everyone and welcome to Designing and Building Data Products course. Before we start, let me introduce myself. I am Ron Dano, a research scientist and a PhD candidate in medical image processing focusing on the use of deep machine learning based here in France. Data products are typically referred to in the business space, meaning any application of data that is of value to the business. Typical data products are predictive, descriptive or prescriptive models, as well as insights. It can be in the form of the data itself, the algorithm you were creating, and information used for prediction. Google Cloud Platform offers a wide range of services for securing, storing, serving, and analyzing data. These cloud services form a secure cloud perimeter of data where different op operations and transformations can be carried out on the data without leaving the cloud system. Now let's run a batch prediction job on cloud MLE. The cloud or the code to execute a batch prediction call on cloud MLE is provided in the following and stored in run batch prediction sh. Run the following code in the terminal to the batch prediction service. Google Cloud AutoML for Natural Language Processing, or NLP, is used to build text classification models on the cloud. Here, we will build a language toxicity for to classify and recognize toxic and non-toxic lean phrases. This week, we will build a regression machine learning model to predict the critical temperature of superconductors. The features for this data set were derived based on the following superconductor properties. And for each property, the mean, weighted mean, geometric mean, weighted geometric mean, and so on, are extracted resulting in 80 features. The microservice architecture is an approach for developing and deploying enterprise cloud-native software applications that involve separating the core business capabilities of the application into the decoupled components. A Kubeflow pipeline component is an implementation of a pipeline task. Here, we will implement a deep neural regressor network to predict the closing prices of Bitcoin cryptocurrency. The goal here is to orchestrate machine learning engineering solution using a microservice architectures on Kubernetes with Kubeflow pipelines. The machine consists of the following components. This course is a one-stop shop that takes the beginner on a journey to understanding the foundations and the practical steps for leveraging machine and deep learning technologies on problems of interest. 